This is the city of Tarbes, France, in the very southern part of the country near the Pyrenees Mountains, right on the border with Spain. Tarbes is a home of Dyer, which builds the TBM series single-engine turboprop, and the original building in its factory dates back to before the First World War. And although that makes it one of the oldest airplane factories in the world, it's inarguably one of the most modern. In case you forgot or never knew, TBM means Tarbes built Mooney because, yes, bits of the TBM's DNA can be found in Kerrville, Texas. I visited Dyer recently to see how the airplanes are built. Now, if you're an American viewer or reader, you probably think of Dyer as the builder of the TBM line of aircraft. Single engine turboprops, the 700 through the 900 series, and yeah, they do that here, but they do a lot of other stuff here too, including one I'm standing in here, which is the no section of an A380 Airbus. It's getting a once over by a quality inspector. It's about the size of my garage, only a lot nicer. Here's Philip de Segovia to give us a rundown on some of the wide varieties of products that Dyer makes here at the Tarbes facility. So, as you know, aviation uh, is a cyclic uh, industry, and so uh, we benefit from the Dyer group in the fact that uh, we have different activities. Well, the largest uh, in terms of volume is the aerostructure and system activity, where we are making uh, parts and uh, sub-assemblies for other major aerospace programs. Uh, the second is the airplane business unit with the TBM, and the third being advanced technology for other type of industry, which benefit from the research and development in aviation. So in this video, we will look at the construction of our uh, very fast turboprop, the uh, TBM. Today is the uh, 910 and the TBM 930. Like every other factory I've been in, Dyer is organized into primary parts production, initial and final assembly, and finishing, and it's all spread out over several buildings at Tarbes. And also like every other factory, Dyer has a mix of old machinery upgraded with numerical controls and state-of-the-art CNC equipment. In this section is a high isostatic press where um, parts are pushed into a mold through very high pressure, but at the end, it still requires a human eye to look at the, if the angles are correct or not. These are highly skilled sheet metal workers that go through a three-year training program usually. Uh, we call it an alternance, which means they go three weeks in school and three weeks on the job. And they're usually followed by a mentor, an older person. So you see young and old working here hand in hand, basically. This building produces elementary parts, not just for TBM, but for the other major programs we work for, which is Airbus, Airbus helicopters, Dassault, and Embraer. What you also see is a lot of old machines that we keep for spare parts production uh, for our uh, program that we no longer have in production, the TB series, and before that, the Rally series. Uh, and you'll see also machinery that has been upgraded with computers. And a mix of old and new technology is very visible in this, uh, in this building. After elementary part production, um, we come into this building to start the uh, airframe assembly. We've cut the assembly of the airframe in two. We have the uh, cockpit part on the right side and the middle section and tail section on the left side. We've chosen to work in tower, upright position structures. It's better for the people to work because you need two people to do the riveting. One goes on the inside and one person is on the outside. The whole process here takes about less than two months. So an airframe assembly itself without accessories is just done in two months. Um, the middle section is also very important to point out. We make that separately and that actually joins the cockpit and the, the, the back section together. And there's an overlap of skin as well, right on the wing attachment point. This airframe has just been assembled and uh, it's so, in so-called pre-painting. This step takes about two weeks and we will mount several accessories such as uh, air conditioning, heating, some foot pedals, pre-stretch cables, and some of the windows. And then it goes to painting for about 250 hours. So here we are in the paint shop of the TBM. 
So uh, this is a very uh, busy uh, workshop because we are working uh, 24 hours a, uh, a day and uh, seven days uh, out of the week. And uh, we are spending uh, 250 uh, labor hours uh, to paint the TBM, starting from the sanding, uh, the application of the several layers of paint with a matte base up to the uh, UV uh, layer on the TBM. And then the, uh, there is the dry uh, phase uh, to do uh, the best finish. Quality is important for the paint because it protects the, uh, the plane which is in metal uh, from corrosion. And also this gives well the good look of it that uh, matters also to the TBM owner. And from here, we will go to the final assembly to see the result with the uh, fuselage and wings painted. And uh, this will be the last phase uh, with the final assembly. So we are in the final assembly line of the uh, Dyer TBM aircraft. So this final assembly line uh, has been uh, set uh, in uh, 1991. And since, well, most of the uh, 800 the 38 TBM have been produced a year so far as of uh, May 31st, uh, 2017. And so in this assembly line, in uh, 60 days, we uh, bring uh, parts together to make an airplane. And uh, we will, through a series of tests, uh, test fly the uh, TBM uh, to make it ready for deliveries. And uh, as you can see, we have also a showroom to show uh, the, uh, the part and the, uh, the interior selection. Uh, to help the customer to make their choice. And also uh, we are furnishing the interior of the TBM uh, in the fashion selected by the customer.